This is my calorie burning chair and full body toning workout. Now for this, all we need obviously is a chair. I'm gonna do the workout with you in real time and each exercise we do for a period of 40 seconds. There's a little um, timer on the side so you can see every set of 10 seconds. So what is important, do make sure you have fully warmed up first and then we're gonna get ready to start training. So the first move we're going to start with is what I call circle the chair lunge. So what you're going to do, you're going to lunge and then circle one leg over the chair, come back to the lunge and you can see here we're doing 40 seconds so on the side bar it will count down every set of 10 seconds. So what I want you to focus on doing here is try and keep the abdominals pulled in tight so you're keeping the upper body tight. You use the arms as well just to kind of swing round. Make sure as well that you don't let that knee come over the line of the toes on there. Um, if you find that too high to lift over the chair, you don't have to lift as high. And also, you could just stick to doing a lunge if you're a beginner to exercise on here. Okay, so we're nearly done on that. And also make sure you did that on your left leg because we're going to do it on the right leg in a bit. Okay, so the next move is called Bend Me, Shape Me. And what we're going to do, so now we're going to do this for 40 seconds. Again, do all this on your left leg because we're gonna repeat then on the opposite leg towards the end. So on this one, as you can see what we're doing, we're just drawing the knee in, then we extend the leg up. So draw the knee in and extend up. So you're working into the abdominals, now you're working into the bottom as you extend that leg back. Plus also here, you're working through the arms as well. That's good, so we just take that up and back, keeping that going. Okay, you've got just less than 10 seconds to go on oh, there, just squeezing that through and back and always keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight because that helps protect your back. Okay, so the next move I call the hourglass twist. So you want to step away from the chair, place one foot on the chair, the knee is bent. So it's like you're doing a squat and then with the arms you're gonna twist into that extended leg on there. Again, whenever we're doing anything like a squat or a lunge, always make sure that supporting knee does not come over the line of your toes. You're gonna to feel this here through your inner thighs. You're also gonna feel it through the waist. So just keep going, keep twisting that round. So what we're doing here, we're getting a nice curvy waist plus we're toning the thighs and we're working into the bottom as well. That's good. All right, keeping that going. So you just got 10 seconds left to go on this leg. Again, just remember what leg you're doing because we're gonna repeat these all in a minute on the opposite leg. Okay, so the next one called Prima Ballerina. So this time, you're going to be holding onto your chair. Now you've got two alternatives. If you want to take the heels up, this just works those inner thigh muscles, your adductors, and a lot harder. If you find that too challenging, then you can just do it where you've still got the, um, the heels on the ground on this. You just come down and come up. Make sure you go as low as you can, and again, keep those knees, feet nice and wide so those knees don't co don't come over the line of the toes. Keep the tummy pulled in tight as well on there. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna go last 10 seconds on this move. Well done, and just feel that through your fill this straight away through those inner thighs. Okay, so the next one are called creme de la creme because I love this exercise. So leaning onto your chair, this time now tap one leg over, and then take it to the opposite side. So what we're doing here, we're gonna be shaping through the waist. We're working your internal and external obliques. We're also engaging through the leg muscles, really focusing on the inner and outer thigh muscles on there. So we step that across, that's good. Go from side to side on there. Again, this one looks easy, but it's actually quite a challenging move. Plus we're working upper body strength by supporting the upper body on the chair. Okay, that's good. All right, so we've just got last 10 seconds on there now. Keep going, and again, keep the tummy tight. Well done. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna repeat that, we're gonna use the opposite leg. So this time now, let's come back. So now we're gonna work the opposite leg and circle that over. So now we're on the right leg. Circle that over, lunge it back. And again, we're doing this for 40 seconds. So if you are a beginner, then you could just stick with doing the lunge, you know, build up to this. The great thing is with exercise, every time you do it, you get fitter and stronger. And as I always say, there is no side effects to exercise. It is just positive benefits you're gonna get. So you lunge it over, step it back, that's it. Circle it over and lunge it back, keeping that going. All right, got last 10 seconds of this exercise today. 
All right, well done. Okay, so let's get ready now to take that up to the next one, the bend and shake knee. So lean into your chair on here and draw that knee in, then lift behind. So draw the knee in, lift behind, draw it in, and then behind so just always i know i keep repeating myself but i can't stress it enough really keep that belly button pulled in tight the spine it does lots of things it protects your back it helps with core stability but also it really helps tighten and tone those abdominal muscles so draw the leg in and extend back so keeping that going okay well done all right so you're just on your last 10 seconds on this move now Okay, so our next move, we're coming back to the hourglass twist. So extend that leg out, place it on the chair and make sure you are doing the opposite side now. And again, remember, have that knee so it's not coming over the line of the toes. So it's a bit like you're doing a squat, but with one leg extended and you're reaching those arms towards that extended leg. So you're feeling that through those waist muscles, keeping the tummy tight on there, keeping that going. That's good. And so you bend through, so it's like you're doing half a squat on there. And visualize where you're working, you're toning and lengthening through those inner thigh muscles, you're also working into the waist, drawing those muscles in, giving you a smaller waistline. Okay, so let's come back to the Prima Ballerina, love this one. So holding onto your chair, so again, if you want to, you can have it with your heels raised. By having the heels raised just means you're working into those inner thigh muscles called the adductors a little bit harder. Also focus on drawing in those stomach muscles, so we're working through the, through the abs as well on there. And then you wanna go as low as you can. If you find that hard, you can do it with the heels on the ground. Good, so again, this one, great for working through the thighs and those tummy muscles. So you've just got last 10 seconds of these today. Okay, and let's come back to my favorite, the creme de la creme. So holding onto that chair and take that leg over from side to side. So it's a really slow, controlled move this. You know, and I always say, I never really use hand weights at all. Using your own body's weight is one of the best ways to really create a nice feminine shape. And we are toning up all over. The benefit of this workout is because your body is gonna be more toned, we're gonna be burning so many more calories. So it's actually incredible for weight loss, this sort of training. Loads of people think you have to spend hours in the gym. I promise you, you don't. Okay, so last 10 seconds. And that's your workout complete. So well done, that is your workout complete. Remember, it's really important to stretch. And if you like the chair, then please share the chair. And also, um, if you're not already, then do come over to all my social media sites. And if you've got any questions about this workout, um, then please let me know. And also, I love hearing your feedback as well. But most importantly, I hope you enjoyed it.